Okay, Ben, put your hands together for Ben. And that was only three minutes. Was it? Yeah, less than three minutes and 30 seconds. Good. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. 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 Oh uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. So I'm going to ask Natalie what she does in France. What do you do in France? In Paris? Something like that. French oh. lawyers complex. French lawyers are complex. Complex, yeah. So is that a tough for being a woman? In but there's a lot of politicians. What's your name? Sigoy, Sigoy, uh, Segoline, Royal, Royal. Yeah, she's cool. Oh, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, like triangles, triangle, over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is really exciting because in France, no one cares about that kind of thing, right? I mean, you in France, you laughed at Clinton having his relationship with Monica, right? Because um, Mitterrand, you know, he had his lovers who followed down. You know, when he, had, he, he had lovers and he had his funeral and they all trailed behind and all the kids and everybody got along fine, right? Yeah, see, Natalie knows. How many lovers do you have? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> we know you're conservative. Yeah. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She is a playgirl lawyer. Okay. Playgirl. Okay. Um, let's see. Now we're going to bring up Stuart, who is going to tell a story. So let's support Stuart telling his story. Right. Yeah, Stuart, tell us your story. be here in Hong Kong doing comedy and storytelling. I started comedy here in Hong Kong with the idea of doing a comedy act called Laugh at My Date, Laugh at My Boss because it came from a story of how I've always wanted to be an astronomer who also gets married and has children. And that story ended up leading into comedy. So I'd like to tell that story. Start in Maui, Hawaii, where I thought I was on the, the way to my dream. I had the dream job with a former Google executive who had called me up and when I was job searching uh, through a friend of an astronomy friend and said, how would you like to help me start a new observatory. And at first, I didn't think this guy was serious. Uh, I thought he was just doing small 14-inch telescopes. But he is actually, was actually doing two-meter telescopes. So I was on the top of the mountain, Haleakala. You can see the Pacific Ocean below you. Gorgeous place, 10,000 feet up. That's like over 3,000 meters. Beautiful, going up there every night, sunsets knock your socks off. I still have pictures. So, while seeking to do this, I thought, yeah, professional life's going well. Get online. Do a little bit of dating. Try to, try to work on that other main goal of my life. So, dated a, a few different women. Uh, had someone contact me, an interior designer, not an astronomer, or not, not the high intellectual type, but it turned out to be a very interesting date. That she, she wore a low cut blouse, and while talking to me, she did what first started to be a bra readjustment, obviously, with her hand under her easy access blouse, and slowly moved down further and further, and she was rubbing her chest in the restaurant. So I just kept on talking, 
tried not to look at her, and I just kept on talking about myself. Talking about my wonderful job. Well, apparently she was getting jealous and pissed because she sent me an email. You weren't inquisitive enough. And I said, well, let's just be friends. I had dated someone else that I was a little bit more interested in, thought, but it, I could use a few new friends. I'm new here living in Maui. Well, ended up that when I apologized to her for not being inquisitive enough, we sent a few emails back and forth. Eventually, I just when I just got tired of her saying, expecting me to apologize, you're not inquisitive enough. So I just said, well, you're just a healthy, horny, single female dog, too long without a partner. 21st century lesson. Don't do it on email. Next morning, get a phone call from the boss, woken up. He wakes up his night observer, been up all night, 8 a.m., since we got your email last night, we can't have this kind of behavior. We no longer need your services, and you need therapy. So suddenly, how my dating life not only screwed up, but screwed up my professional life. So this is why I had a, such a funny story with a date that I, being unemployed, started stand-up comedy in Los Angeles. This is why I drove across the country in 2009 giving astronomy talks to get my career back. And this is why I'm giving the story here because I think it would be good to drive across the U.S. again, but this time get all the publicity I can driving across the U.S. telling the story. Laugh at my day. Laugh at my boss. Thank you. Okay, he's not here. Okay. <laughs>